How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? According to the Wall Street Journal, about 700 pounds. So, since last week's episode, I've gotten a whole bunch of comments, an absolute deluge of comments and questions uh, into my private message inbox on Tankspot, which, if you're wondering, that is still the best way to get a hold of me. You go to tankspot.com and send a private message to the username Lore, L-O-R-E. It's, it's really, really simple. I'm assuming you can get that one. But anyway, uh, fantastic amount of comments and questions that have been coming through there, and that, that's really, 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 really great. I really like getting questions in there because, well, then I can talk about them. And I do have a great viewer question today uh, to talk about, but first I want to go ahead and you know kind of clear the air a bit about uh, probably a couple of the most common questions that I've gotten since that episode. Um, like I mentioned last week, I am married. In fact, you can see it. Well, here, let me just show it to you. Uh, that's my wedding ring. That's Okay, that's really blurry, so you probably can't really tell what it looks like, but that's a wedding ring. That's what they look like. Um, yeah, I'm married. Uh, a lot of people were apparently under the impression that I'm around 17 years old. Um, not so much. Um, you're off by about 10 years there. I'm going to be 27 in October, so um, I guess I'm kind of flattered, I guess. Um, you know, I look like I'm 17 years old. That's, you know, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Great. Um, but no, I'm, I'm pushing 30 here. I'm, I'm getting up there a little bit, so sorry to disappoint, I guess. Um, the other question that has been coming out a whole lot is, are you married to Aliena? Because apparently, um, if there's a dude on Tank Spot and a chick on Tank Spot, then apparently they're an item. Um, that's just the common, I don't know, the common theory, I guess. Um, also inaccurate. Uh, Aliena and I are not married and are not an item. In fact, if you go back to like episode 8 or 9, uh, you can see my wife, uh, who, I think it was 8 or 9, it might be, it's somewhere around there, but anyway, one of the earlier episodes, uh, you can actually see my wife in there, and you can see that she is not, in fact, Aliena. So, just wanted to just kind of debunk those couple rumors right there. So, getting into the today's question, uh, it comes from a guy named Gorzantus, Gor Gorzantus, Gorzan, I'm gonna call him Gorzantus. Uh, Gorzantus says, Ever since I started playing WoW back in 2006, I have always been a keyboard turner. Ooh. Even during raiding, I have always keyboard turned. <laughs> now that I have joined a new guild, I have been getting moaned at and told I should start mouse turning, but I am finding it pretty hard to pick up. Uh, they say that it will cause wipes if I can't react fast enough. Well, Gorzantus... Um, your new guild is pretty much 100% spot on there. Keyboard turning is kind of a no-no. It's, it's really just bad juju all around. You, 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 you don't want to do that. You want to work your way out of it. Um, so for this week, I'm going to talk a little bit, you know, just take a step back from my normal, you know, high-level rating sort of discussion and get back to basics and talk a little bit about keyboard turning. Now, I'm hoping that I don't need to convince the majority of the people watching this video that keyboard turning is bad, because it's, it's a pretty common acceptance in the WoW community. Um, but I'm going to touch on it very, very briefly, just to sort of set some groundwork. Um, when you keyboard turn, you are basically forcing a much slower reaction time to whatever is going on. Um, just to give you a little visual demonstration, I'll, I'll just throw this one out there. Um, if I want to look at the StarCraft poster behind me, I could do like this. Yeah, that's a pretty cool poster. Or it could go like this. Hooray! Now, one of those two responses was much quicker than the other. And if you're having trouble identifying, just back up a little bit and watch it again. I think it should be pretty obvious. But anyway, that kind of... I hope that gives an example of why keyboard turning is bad. It's just you're, you're adding all this extra time in which you're reacting to something uh, or just trying to get your character positioned in the direction that they need to be um, that you really just don't have to. So, now that that's out of the way, here is my 100% fail-safe method to never ever keyboard turn ever again. Uh, and it's pretty simple. It's based on one core concept. The easiest way to never keyboard turn is to remove the capability of keyboard turning from your computer. And pretty much what I mean by that is you're going to go into your keybinds and you're going to bind A to strafe left and D to strafe right. 
Uh, if you've moved your key bindings around, obviously you're gonna have to do something a little bit different based on that, but you're pretty much, you're binding your turn left ability to strafe left and your turn right ability to strafe right. And once you've done that, you no longer have the capability of keyboard turning, so you cannot keyboard turn. If you want to point your character in a differ different direction, you will have to do so by holding down the right mouse button and moving your mouse around. And so once you've gotten that taken care of, then it's just a matter of training yourself to do that properly. Because at first, you're going to be doing a whole lot of strafing when you mean to turn. So what I would recommend is, you know, spend 20 or 30 minutes doing the dollar on 500 or whatever, just running around in circles, going from place to place, just say, okay, I'm at the jewel crafting trainer, I want to get over to the badge vendor, and just run over there, and just run back and forth, and do whatever, just get yourself used to the act of moving with the mouse, instead of trying to, to move with your, your, uh, your keyboard. Um, you know, and as you start to get a little bit more used to it, maybe, you know, run a daily or two, um, you know, just get slowly step your way up, you know, jump into a random heroic or something, uh, and just get yourself more and more used to it. And then you're probably going to want to spend a few days uh, with that setup. Now, eventually, what will happen is your brain will just stop thinking about A and D as appropriate methods to take when you need to turn, and you'll just 100% of the time go straight to mouse turning whenever you need to turn your character. And that's the goal. You want to get to that point. Once you're there and you're very, very solid at being there, I do recommend that you go back in and rebind your keys so that you can actually keyboard turn again. Um, not in like a, uh, well, now that I've gotten used to mouse turning, I can go back and keyboard turn and I'll have the mouse turning when I need it sort of method, but just as a, every once in a while, something might happen in which case I want to keyboard turn. It's just to bring the option back, just because I like having the option there. Uh, just to give a couple examples of something that might happen in which case you want to keyboard turn. Uh, say you're a healer, for example, on Rot Face, and you get picked for the disease. So you've got to get yourself over to uh, the, the big slime and get over there so you can be cleansed, and, you know, that's how the whole fight works. But anyway, um, while that's going on, say, I mean, especially if you're like a Holy Priest or a Resto Druid or something, you're probably going to want to be able to continue casting your instant cast spells on somebody as you're moving, because, you know, there's a whole bunch of raid damage going on, it's just good play to be able to continue doing stuff while you're busy reacting to this. So, instead of necessarily pulling your keyboard away, or pulling your, your uh, cursor away from your raid frames and just stopping your healing entirely, uh, instead you might want to go ahead and just position your character with your keyboard and then run over to where the slime is. Or even as you're running, let me even point yourself in the right direction with the mouse first, but then as you're heading over there, uh, just sort of correct your path or whatever with the mouse as you're heading over there and continue casting your spells. Um, you know, and it, it's just nice to have when you're running around town or whatever, if you, you just don't feel like using both hands for what, maybe you got a drink or something, uh, or who knows what's going on. I, I don't care what's going on, but it's just nice to have the option from time to time. Just be very, very, very careful if you do decide uh, to go back in and rebind those keys again, uh, that you don't fall back into keyboard turning as your first option. Uh, that would pretty much negate the entirety of everything you just did and all that time you spent getting used to uh, turning with the mouse. So if you do feel like you're falling back into that and you do find yourself turning with the mouse or turning with the keyboard more often than you're turning with the mouse, especially in like a dungeon or a raid situation, then just go back in, rebind them to strafe, and just leave it like that for ages, like a month or two, until you have absolutely no doubt that you are now 100% a mouse turner. All right, that's going to wrap up this edition of the Weekly Marmot. Thank you for watching. Um, just as a reminder, if you'd like to send me a message or a question for me to talk about on the show, or pretty much just anything, uh, send me a private message on Tankspot. You just go to tankspot.com, send a private message to the username Lore, L-O-R-E. It's really simple. I hope you don't have too much trouble with it. Um, if you like, you can also follow me on Twitter. My username there is DevilLore. Um, and I just, you know, throw little updates about just whatever happens to be interesting that's going on at the time. Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. I will see you guys next week.